Hello and welcome back. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign as Korea. Now the emperor of everything that we lay eyes up on. The rat's no longer a valid rival, apparently. Or rather, I guess we had them embargoed. I guess we're raveling Bengal now. Sure. Um, I insult you, Bengal. One day, even Bengali merchants will understand bookkeeping. One day, but not now. We have no choice with Ashikaga. Rather than um, take over this land now, we could always save it for later and just go force tributary status on them. Because there is some benefit, maybe, to just, you know, saving the land for later. Uh, it blocks them from joining coalitions, and you can get one monarch point per 33 development that they have. So this guy's got 36, we can get one monarch point a year. That's not much, but hey. Right, 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 right. We gotta accept Chinese culture. And basically, you, you just accept, uh, take the monarch point that you're you're behind on, which in this case, we're probably most behind on Diplo, based on the integrations and stuff. I mean, well, admin, I suppose, since we're still doing ideas. Mr. Ashikaga could give us how much per year? At 99 dev. That should be that's that's three admin points a year. Where I come from, that's that that adds up. Check mandate numbers, right? It's not the mandate button. This is. I don't think I've actually let a month pass yet. Whoops. So we'll let a month pass, then we'll check. I think we do go make this guy into a guy. Making the guy into a guy is uh, its just generally a good idea. Usually. It will not give extra? Hmm. I guess the information that I had received earlier that uh, it might actually end up being effectively 0.1 was not correct. Or it's also possible I just misunderstood it. I think that we do go ahead and embrace the extra, cu extra cultures that just take the corruption hit. It's 10 corruption. We'll be paying for this for a while. Uh, having corruption is going to reduce our mandate growth, but who cares? And we will just root it out at max. It's almost like going back a hundred years when we were struggling for a while with debt. Look, it's a month's no big deal. So, with accepted culture slots, we will now accept these. We need Diplo points. Tight, tight, tight. Actually, are we going to be good? Yeah, we have three years. We'll generate plenty of Diplo points in three years. Hello, Japan. Hopefully he doesn't have core on the land that I'm trying to core right now. He might. Uh, apostrophe S's opinion of Korea changed by 50. Who then? What? Hey, cat. No, we would just be aiding the space period. Uh, local goods produced for 10 years in the Kurils. The Kurils. But it's uncolonized. Game, I think you're you're drunk. Game, go home. <laughs> you can't have goods produced in an uncolonized province? What? That's just silly. The Japanese fought bravely, but will ultimately perish. Stop, cat. Don't touch the mic. Ooh, I got juked. Sneaky. Ming is now guaranteeing the boy rat as well. It's a pretty good general that they've got right there. Show us pancake. Uh, that's we'll do that later. A end of the stream. He's in his box right now, and I don't have a good way of showing him. Silly Japanese.
That'll pretty much do it. Okay, um... Cat is looking at me like, why won't you pet me? And the answer is, I'm trying to play games. And things. We don't need to worry about our Abbot points, because we're not going to take any play in this war. Um, I just want to get Dark Mode back on Twitch. It's like a better Twitch TV thing, right? Blockade over here. Cultures, yep, we can accept one. So we need to accept two cultures to make this disaster go away. The disaster is called Empire of China in Name. Accepts less than two cultures in the Chinese culture group. Um, we need to accept Zilli. Which we can't accept because... It needs to be in states. We need state slots. Our crappiest, worst, bad state is North Ilan Hala. Which, if we have no provinces assigned to anybody, we'll just abandon. Goodbye. We can now accept... Or state... Oh, I can't state this one because of Cheng Cheng Chengdi. Definitely want to state Beijing. For now, let's just state this one. Which should allow us then to accept Zilli. Why does it cost 100? Oh, of course, we have Corruption. Corruption's offsetting our discount from uh, ridiculous innovativeness. Let's just do it now anyway, I'm not going to wait. And same thing down here, we've got two... Two states. Okay. Next crappiest state is Shandong. Or Shandong. Shandong. Shandong, this thing. been assigned to the burgers. Disaster incoming. Admin does give state slots, but it's still like quite a ways off. Sorry, my prosperity. Mm -hmm. Disaster has gone, probably because it can't progress with only one accepted. Wait, what? has at least two accepted cultures in the Chinese culture group. Oh, that's right, we started the game with an accepted culture. Where's the Toguku culture? Toguku's Japanese. Zili Saigoku is Japanese. Jerk, jerk, jerk. Oh, is Korea considered part of the Chinese thing also? I didn't even consider that. No. Jer Jerchen's not part of the group. This colored area is the group. Huh. Jerchen is Chinese. Then why isn't it colored right now? When you are when you're on the culture map mode and you click on a region, it colors all of the religions of that group. I accept Zili. That's one. I accept one culture. The disaster says has at least two. I don't have at least two, I have one. If, Jer if Jerchen is Chinese group now, this should be updated. I guess this is maybe... wrong ad or something. Whatever, I mean, we'll still accept the other culture, I guess, but... Weird. I'm gonna be caring about it, I'm gonna be upset. I'm going to be upset that it's easier than I thought it would be. Alright, Mr. Ashikaga, I expect you to become a tributary. And give me all your money, and uh... Technically we can make him release nations, but that's kind of dumb. Um... Making him abandon his cores on my land does give us prestige, but... I guess mostly just increases the length of the truce, which is fine. Thanks for the 50 prestige and becoming my tributary, sir. Oh, shock horror, he's upset. We're gonna make him pay... Ah, oh, damn. 
I guess that it's not 33, Dev. It's 33.33. 33. Three. So we're only going to get two instead of three. Boo. That's fine. How does he have so much innovativeness? Because we're awesome. Obviously. Uh, let's not. No. Let's, we'll, we'll stockpile admin points until the corruption is gone. That's going to take quite a while, but... Oh, well. It's going to take like 10 years. All right, do that. Next, government reform. State slots, naturally. <laughs> right after I abandon states and, and lose prosperity in a certain in a few places, we get more state slots. But of course. So I have two left. Are these any good? 25 dev. Or Hokuriki? Hokuriki. That's 31. That's where the gold mine is, so we want that. 19, 22 here. Sure, 22 is fine. We'll hold off on the, the final half of these territorial cores until after the idea group's done. Doesn't he need all of the Shinto land cord for the Choson one? Yes, but we don't have to do that now. We can always break tributary status and attack him after five years. For now, we will spend our monarch points integrating China with the unified China CB, and then we'll come back for this later. And during the process while we're murdering Ming, Ashikaga will pay us admin points, helping us to further core Ming. We'll core the gold mine now. Uh, it could be done. I mean, 39. We also have the corruption to pay off. Like, I'm not really worried about our economy. At this rate, we've got hundreds of months until we actually have an economic problem. We do have rebels. Where? Over there. Setsu? I don't know where that is. It is on the island. I love seeing beautiful green Japanese land that has no unrest. It's great. Gone, gone, gone. So for three months we'll suppress and then we'll bring everyone home and we'll drill for a bit. Bum, 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 bum. Like the money that was spent going uh, to a level 3 port. That was like the worst decision of the campaign, I think. Losing the war against uh, Jianzu was unfortunate, but not really our fault. It's just a... It's just having very hard a very hard difficulty bonuses kind of threw things off. Um, are you ever going to be happy? <laughs> no. 300 aggressive expansion? It is a minor thing. Miltech? Someone else already took it, wow. Bum, 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 bum. We have a lot of military points. <laughs> it reduces anything that requires monarch points, annexing, coring, developing, so it's pretty good. Yeah, the all power costs modifier from innovativeness. Basically, if you're able to get to 100 innovativeness, it's essentially like having a permanent Golden Era all power cost discount. It's the same mechanic. All power costs. And they do stack. So if you got to 100 innovativeness and then activated your Golden Era, you'd have minus 20. And if you're playing as the Mammoth government type with their weird government type, the Mammoth government, they have a uh, once per every now and then click. 5% 5% all power costs. So you could even go up to minus 25%. Fancy, huh? I'm slipping on the inattentiveness. I guess Korea only used only used to be ahead of its time. Yeah. 
Well, well, I mean, the AI appears to be just taking tech exceptionally early. Like, I would not normally expect them to take tech six years ahead of time, but it's already been taken. It's already been taken, and it's already been taken. So, some AI somewhere in the world is running out of things to spend Monarch Points on, and generating a lot of them. Looks like we could raise our naval force limit a bit more. What if all nations had minus 100% all power costs? That would be a weird campaign, I'll tell you that much. Hey look, we have 69 boats. Look! <laughs> we have exactly 40 galleys, where are the other galleys at? There's a fleet down here. Okay. And there's a galley here, randomly, from one of the integrations, I would assume. Nice. Nice! Where's another line? Yeah, he really was into that kind of thing. <laughs> Suppose we should maybe consider embargoing Spain and Bengal. Take a click because it doesn't matter. Gain prestige or gain base tax? Never try to click. Don't take base tax in colonial nation regions. Just take the prestige. Unless, of course, you're at 100 prestige already and you click too fast. In which case, you'll immediately regret the decision. Whoopsie. Nice. Nice. 1444. Blame Jimmy. Okay. We're almost at the military point cap. We don't need meritocracy. We... what else? I guess, despite corruption, we'll still do some more dev? What's the name of this culture down here? Oh, gross. There's so many different types of cultures in this region. Yuck. Yeah, never mind. I'm not going to accept that. We can do this click in 1580, which means I think in two years we can do that final mission. Culture shift to Chinese. There, yeah, I mean, it would help to have all these cultures be accepted. A little bit. But no, we're, we're Korea. We can't stop being Korean. Gaizu. Osprous. Dev cost. We do have ports we could upgrade. That's a pretty good price. Nine development with a cost of 21. Just gonna go to 20 so we get the building slot and then that should buy us time on the military points, I think. How is colonization going? Uh, it's going. We got a colonial nation. We've got one, it's called Frozen Turtle Land. And we've got another one that's at, uh, two. <laughs> it's only at two. Or was this also part of that region? Nope, it's right on the edge. Is this me or him? Apparently I sent him here and it's part of the wrong region. Nice. Nice! Unless I just misread this all. Nope. Ashikaga, uh, what's it going to take to make you stop complaining and give me admin points on the annual tick? Liberty desire by 15? Sure. We'll just spend money a few times to get him paying us admin points each year. And I think he will probably get a dev point at some point, and this should upgrade to 3. So, that's worth it. The name of the colonist is Nice. What was the name of the colonist or the colonialist? Gong Bang. <laughs> and Yong Bak Ki. There's nothing 
in like implicitly funny about these names. So if you think it's funny, then does that make you racist? <laughs> I'm offended. <laughs> Suppose we should try to find some gold. Four percent gold. Let's find a gold province. Click on it. It makes it easier to see where gold could be in the new world by percentage. And every province it could be 5.7, 7.4. There are some provinces that are much, much more likely, but I don't have them memorized. 8% up there. There's one. That's a much likelier province, 12.5. There's another 12.5. You gotta get in there a bit to actually find it. Okay, uh... I don't know. Just, just, just colonize, I don't care. Just, just pick the coastline, keep going. After all that research, <laughs> just gonna ignore it. All that research. Okay. All right. I'm going to take a short break here. If you're watching this on YouTube, otherwise stick around on Twitch and we'll keep going. See you again in the next episode.